Hey, I had a few requests for talking through Google Forms and how to add task cards to Google Forms. So I figured I'm gonna show you a few different things with Google Forms, one of which adding task cards and some other tools because Google Forms is really cool for teachers and students and giving you like um, a quick glance at how a student is doing with different skills. Um, so this one I'm showing right now, this is an already existing Google Form. Um, this is showing the student side what it would look like of the spiral math digital version from Lucky Little Learners. And she has first grade, second grade, third grade, and it's really cool. They type their name in here, um, and there's one form for each day. And then it's differentiated, so they can have a pre-selected shape. You, as the teacher, give them a shape. Tell them star, heart, or apple, which one to choose. Um, and then you know as a teacher, the star is below grade level, heart is at, and apple is above. So they'll choose the shape and then it will give them different questions based on what shape they chose. And then you'll see in the Google form, you can see how there's an added image right here, kind of like a task card. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Um, but there's different types of answers. They can do like a short answer, multiple choice, um, and another multiple choice, there's a drop down, and then they submit, and then right then, it's automatically graded. You can go in right then and as a teacher see how the students did. They can click view accuracy and see how they did too. And you can even export responses and points to a spreadsheet for yourself, a Google Sheet. So it's a really cool tool to use um, Google Forms. So I'm going to show you now um, how to create your own. How to create your own. So you go to the little waffle on your Google, either Gmail or Google Drive, and you scroll down to Forms, and then you're going to hit the plus. And we're going to make a form for capitalization rules because that is something second graders need lots of practice on. And I want to check and see how my students are doing with that. Um, so I'm going to give it a title. And it should save that automatically. It's going to save as you go. So you don't have to worry about that. You can play around with the theme. You can play around with the colors. You can play around with the fonts. You can you know, customize it a little bit how you want. You can type in a description and instructions right there. Um, and then what you're going to do when you get down here to the questions if you want an image as the question, just get rid of those words right there, and then you're going to get your image. So what I want to do, this is zoomed in way big because I want the images I grab to not be grainy. Um, so zoom in as big as you can to see the whole card at the same time. This is a grammar toothy task card, again from Lucky Little Learners, and so I'm just going to use these as like a quick little capitalization quiz. So I'm going to screenshot the task card. You can do any task cards you have. Just open your file on your computer, screenshot that task card. It can be any size. It doesn't have to be um, skinny and wide like this one is. And then you're just going to click on this little image button. And then after you click on the image, then you're going to grab the screenshot from your files. And it's going to add it right then right there in your Google form. You won't have this little orange dot from screenshotting while recording your screen. And then you can choose what type of response you want your students to do. Do you want them to type it in? Do you want them to have a, you know, multiple choice? If you do multiple choice, you'll have to type in a few options for them to choose from. So we'll do multiple choice on this one. Okay, and then you want to make them required so that they can't skip it or accidentally scroll past it. And now if I want my quiz to be automatically graded, I need to go up to the settings. I need to go to quizzes and I'm going to click the toggle to make this a quiz. And then you can change settings here however you like, what you want them to see when they're done or if you don't want them to see, then just hit save. And so now I have this question on here. Okay. And what um, you can do to add another question is just go through the same process again. 
and you can add as many questions as you want. Um, I don't know if it has a limit or not. I've never run into a limit on Google Forms, but I don't think it does. So you can add another one of those capitalization. Already, I had already screenshotted this one, so I'm just adding another task card from there. And this one I'm gonna have be short answer, so they have to type it in. So when you make it a quiz, what you need to do for each question is click on answer key, and you wanna type in the correct answer, mark all others incorrect, click done. And then same thing on multiple choice, you click answer key, click on the correct answer, and then click done, okay? Um, whoops, <laughs> I'm just realizing now that this should be Friday. <laughs> I was looking at the previous one. So there you go. Um, so it's easy to change and easy to create your Google form. And then one other thing you can do is maybe um, they are having a hard time or you wanna give them a reminder. You can do a question that just has a reminder. So I really like in those, in that toothy, the grammar toothy, it has these like helper charts in it. So I'm gonna add the helper chart for capitals actually as at the beginning. Especially if my kids are doing this at home, they don't have like my classroom posters all over their walls to help them remember. And so we're gonna add, we're just gonna do a screenshot of this little helper chart. And we're gonna add that in here, just as a reference. And then I, you can move questions around because I don't want this at the end. So um, helper chart. And then on this one, I'm just gonna leave it as a, a short answer, but I'm not gonna make anything required on them to type and it's, that one's not gonna be graded. And then you can just drag it and move it around. So now when I'm scrolling in my form, I can see, oh, there's my helper chart. Now here's my questions. Okay, and then if any time you wanna see what it looks like on the student end or try it out on the student end, just hit this little preview. And it's gonna show you this is what it looks like on the student end, is they'll see the helper chart. Maybe right here you would have them write their name because I didn't add one for them to write their name. Um, and then here's the first question, here's the next question. Um, on here, I didn't choose a point value for the questions, but you can do that too. When you go into your answer key, when you click on that, you can change the number of points right here. So maybe some of them are worth more than others. Another thing you can do is you can add answer feedback right here, where if they got the incorrect answer when they're reviewing answers, you could add like a, a reminder for them. You could add a video for them to watch. You could add a link for them to go to and review. Um, and then correct answers, you could say like, great job, you know, here's a video, a funny video or something. Um, that's completely up to you if you wanna go through all of that. Um, so there's kind of a basic, adding the task cards, getting you started on Google Forms. If you want me to do another one explaining how to differentiate like this one is uh, with the spiral math going into more advanced Google Forms with like sections and things like that, let me know. And I hope this was helpful.